So I'm generally the type of person who um, does not like holiday shows. I, I don't go and see them. But last year when I was in Chicago, a colleague of mine uh, who is now working in Chicago said, you got to come and check out the Nutcracker at the House Theater. And I have to say, it completely blew me away. Um, I think, you know, the thing about it is that in the first couple of seconds of this play, you realize that it's not a normal holiday show. And it's certainly not the nutcracker that you have in mind from the ballet. This is not a piece that's about spectacle. This is a piece that at its heart is really about a little girl and her family dealing with the death of their marine son slash brother uh, while he was away at war. And it's really about the way in which imagination, our imaginations can help heal us during those most difficult moments, especially uh, with the loss of a loved one. It's an incredibly funny piece, and yet at the same time, it's incredibly touching. It's filled with music, puppetry. There were kids in the audience as young as five the night that I saw it, and then adults in their 80s. And the kids can understand the play on one level as the story of, as a really funny story about a little girl whose dolls come to life. The adults can see it as a play that is about uh, people suffering through a difficult time, the holiday time when they've lost a loved one, and how this little girl uses her imagination to heal not only herself, but her entire family. So I immediately knew I wanted to do the play. I am excited to be able to be bringing it here to DC, and I could not think of a better team of artists to be doing this with. This team, we are so lucky. Between them, they have 33 Helen Hayes Awards and countless nominations, and it is led by the uh, remarkable Joe Calarco, who I think is probably better than anybody else in the world at creating pieces that invite the audience into the collective act of imagination. I hope you come and see it.